Hi, my name is Paul Robinson. I've worked for Walcom for the past 30 plus years, 23 of which were in a customer service role. I'm here to talk about troubleshooting boiler controllers. When boiler systems do not read correctly, it generally falls into one of three categories. The initial installation was not done correctly, there is flashing at the sensor, or it is time to clean, calibrate, or replace the sensor. If it is a new installation, it is critical to review the guidelines for plumbing and sensor installation. Verify that wiring and controller programming have been done correctly. It is important to verify that the temperature is also reading correctly as this has a very significant effect on the conductivity reading. Flashing at the sensor is unfortunately very common. Flashing is caused when the superheated water from the boiler sees a sudden decrease in pressure and flashes to steam. The boiler sensor can only read in liquid, so when flashing occurs, the conductivity readings will be lower than actual. To, to, to determine if the flashing is an issue, simply close a valve downstream from the sensor and look to see if the readings increase. To minimize flashing, downstream of the valve should have either a throttling valve or an orifice union installed to maintain back pressure at the sensor. Orifice unions are shipped with various size openings which can be identified on the tab. If flashing continues to be an issue, consider switching out the orifice plate with one with a smaller diameter opening. The sensor can be easily cleaned by dipping the sensor in a beaker of 5% hydrochloric acid. This acid can be easily purchased at a pool supply or home supply store such as Home Depot and it, its concentrated form is known as muriatic acid or 37% hydrochloric. This should be diluted by adding a small amount of the concentrated acid into a beaker of water to dilute it one part muriatic to seven parts water, and then letting the sensor soak in the beaker for several minutes. Once the sensor has been cleaned, place it in a beaker with a conductivity standard solution or other known conductivity value solution, ensuring that any air in the hole of the sensor has been eliminated. Enter the calibration mode in the controller and verify proper operation. Note. The blowdown valve will cycle during the calibration process, but the closed isolation valves will prevent any actual flow from the boiler occurring.